Hello, <clears throat> my name is Bart Brecka. I am one of the instructors at Design Engine, where we teach Pro Engineer and uh, Maya, Alias, uh, among other things. And um, in this in this uh, YouTube video, I'm going to demonstrate a, a a technique for building tubular frame structures, like uh, a NASCAR roll bar or a bicycle frame. And in, in this in this model, I can adjust the rake. And, and make a sort of fine-tune adjustments to the model. You see how that uh, geometry just moved there. And when I, when I go to my assembly and hit regenerate, because of the way I built the model, the geometry is just going to flex. It's, uh, it's a technique for uh, building really quickly and then and in the end modifying the geometry to get, to get at what you want. If you notice at the bottom, <clears throat> what I want to do is I want to cut this tube to an offset from that lower lower uh, tube. So what I'm going to do is I'm I'm going to go to my 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 surface my uh, skeleton geometry, and I'm going to offset a surface. Uh, if, if you'll notice, I think there is a surface already offset here. This this offset is going to become a tool to cut that geometry. Okay. So what I need to do is go to uh, this part. I'm going to call up this part, and I'm going to copy an ECG, an external copy geometry, <clears throat> from the skeleton model. Okay, and in Wildfire 4, it hasn't changed from Wildfire 3. So I'm going to go Insert, Share Data, Copy Geometry. I'll turn off my Publish Geometry option. Publish Geometry is really for larger, larger teams. And I'm going to come in and uh, grab my reference model. And in my case, I name my reference model with zeros. Take the default coordinate system. I'm going to grab that outer surface right here. Right click through to grab the geometry, middle click. Now that surface is, is an offset from the actual tube that I'm going to use as a cut. So what, what I'll do is I'll, I'll solidify in a cut direction. Okay. Hey, went the wrong way. Let's uh, flip that cut. Mm -hmm. Now, now when we go to our, when we go and look at the assembly, you'll see that there's just a, a, a minute gap there for my weld fill. Okay, and and if you really want to appreciate this this skeleton frame structure, I can get in here and sort of modify the underlying geometry and actually change my mind later on as I as I as the geometry becomes more complex um, and uh, each 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 modification I make just updates in my in my geometry okay and uh, that's that's it for my uh, my my demonstration and uh, please please visit the uh, design engine website uh, proetools.com thank you again my name is Bart Brecka